Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, taking a look at the click-free C2 drive. Now what this is, it's a simple, attractive, consumer-facing backup solution, and it ranges in capacity from 250 gigabytes to 500 gigabytes, and it ranges in price from $140 to $190. Now in the studio today, we have the 320 gigabyte version. We have the piano black finish. There's also a, uh, a glossy white finish that's available for Mac users. Now it's PC and Mac compatible. It works with XP, Vista, and Windows 7. It's also Mac compatible if you have OS uh, 10.5 or later. Now the drive is initially formatted for PC, so when you first plug it in, you'll have to format it to the native Mac file system. Now we've already done that. Now it doesn't actually require any software to be installed. Uh, all you really do is plug it in, it recognizes that uh, what needs to be backed up, what hasn't been backed up yet, and it lets you, uh, lets you do that. So if we hit start, now you can see here we get to select for what we'd like to back up. Now it, use, it tries to use a very friendly menu system. It tries to, uh, so you'll see here instead of saying documents or um, you know, business files, it'll say office documents. It says music, it says videos, photos, emails and messages. Now it can also, it also has the ability to interface with uh, Outlook on the PC and actually pull attachments from your emails and back them up all in one place. So anyone who's ever gone searching for an attachment years after the fact might find that to be a very useful feature. So you can see here, it's uh, currently indexing and seeing what we have on the drive, and it's doing a full backup. Now initially the backup's going to take a little while, depending how much data you have on your computer. Now it can back up literally every single file on your computer, uh, and when you go to restore the files, it will restore them uh, to the appropriate folders. Now that works across platforms too, so if we're going from, uh, let's say we're going from Windows XP and we're going to make the jump to Windows 7, it will actually take all of our photos and put them in the appropriate photo uh, folder. Music, same thing. Emails and messages, same idea. Um, and that's, that's interesting because on, on a file system that the XP uses, uh, you'll notice that it, it'll be something like, you know, my documents slash my pictures. Uh, in Windows 7, it, it runs a little differently, but the click free is actually smart enough to say, okay, well, those pictures, they should go there. That also works going across from a Windows machine. If you decide to make the switch to a Mac, it'll also put them in the appropriate folders. So like I say, some pretty smart technology running uh, behind the scenes. But the real, the real sell point here is that you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, it, it literally just does it all for you. Now you can see here that we have a dock in the shot. Now if we look at the back of the device, there's also a built-in USB here. So that means if you don't want to travel with the dock, if you just want to make sure that you're always backing up your files, you really only just need to grab this piece here, and the dock can stay at your, uh, at your desk or in your office. So it, it does fit flush in with the case there. Now there are several other click-free backup solutions. We've looked at a couple before. We'll look at a couple more in uh, coming episodes of Gadget TV. Now one final point that I'd like to make is that uh, it is actually Windows Easy Transfer compatible. And another interesting thing that it allows you to do is do a secondary backup from within the software. So um, the idea being once a user has decided, oh okay, backup doesn't have to be too complicated and I have a, a redundancy for all my files, it'll actually allow you to very easily burn a series of DVDs. Um, it'll do spanning, it'll do all the file systems, it'll even put the click-free software on there so that if you need to restore from those DVDs, uh, all you have to do is, is throw them in and the software will take care of the rest. So if you wanted to put them in a safety deposit box, for example. Now it also features 256-bit AES encryption. Don't really need to worry about what that means. All it means is that uh, your files will not be accessible unless uh, someone has the password to actually access them. So that's a quick look at the click-free C2. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.